As many of you guys know, I'm sitting in my editing room slash art studio slash tattooing studio slash this small room is my whole life. It's my creative. But this place is also the place I edit my YouTube videos. And <laughs> yesterday was my second breath of motivation to start vlogging again for my YouTube channel because it's something I've been really wanting to do. Everything didn't go as planned. I was gonna say everything went as planned, but that's not at all true because we <laughs> we actually planned a trip to Liège. I still have no idea how you say it in English. Please help. Liège. It was on a Sunday because, you know, I work Saturdays and I work throughout the week. So Sunday is like the best day for me to go and meet with some friends, go do something fun. And I ended up looking at the restaurant I wanted to go to and there was no um, reservation spot open anymore. That was kind of a bummer already. And we thought like, okay, let's just find another restaurant. I mean, there will be enough restaurants there. It's Sunday. Obviously, restaurants and bars will be open, but you don't want to spend the whole day drinking and eating. Well, I would if I didn't have to work the day after. There were just so many things we wanted to do and shops we wanted to visit because I've been there a couple of times and there's some shops I really want to show you. But everything's closed, so we had to come up with a backup plan and my friends came up with something that I would have never came up with something that didn't really like intrigue me at first it was something i wasn't super excited for but i also wanted to try it out i think i wasn't excited because i was scared and that brought me back to a couple of months ago i had a whole list of youtube ids one of my good intentions for 2023 was to actually every month of the year wow Every month of the year, I would conquer one of my fears. So I have my fair share of fears being like, I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of spiders. I'm afraid uh, of like small rooms. So I have claustrophobia. Basically, I got every fear you can possibly get. And I want to get over them. Like I used to love skating and I don't anymore because I'm just constantly thinking of like, okay, I might fall down. I may break something. And that's keeping me like my thoughts are keeping me from doing a lot of things. I can imagine that is the case for a lot of people, but I get hold back so many times. And that was exactly the case with this as well. So my friends proposed this activity and I decided let's do it. Let's conquer one of my fears. And this will be the first vlog of conquering my fears. So the day began, we began with a beautiful Sunday morning walk because it looks like I got my life together and I haven't got my life together, but we still took the walk. Yesterday when we went vlogging, I decided to test my audio and first two tests were unsuccessful so that meant i had to figure out how to fix my audio before we left and then i ended up fixing it sadly i think i deleted i think i even deleted the video of the testing otherwise i could have proven to you guys that it worked because after that none of my videos had sound anymore i made a whole vlog without sound so Guess I have to be creative. That's why I'm sitting in my editing room talking to you guys. We're still gonna use the footage and I still wanna show you how I conquered my fear. So the whole day started out with us having a Sunday walk and then we were on our way to our friends. We had to drive across like the busiest round point. Is it called a round point even? A roundabout, right. We had to drive across the busiest roundabout and we had to go to one of the towns that are like um, a little further from Antwerp itself. So we decided to go and spend our day in Antwerp. We went by car. In the car, I was trying to ask some love of my partner. And he just, he just didn't want to do it. I was asking for a little bit of love and he didn't give it to me. Then after that, we arrived at our friend's place. He recently had a bathroom renovation, so we asked for a little tour. Uh, I didn't film that. Their apartment has like this insane 
stairs. I don't know why I find like so different than other stairs, but it's a very small space and it goes into like a spiral. So you get dizzy as fuck every time you take that stairs. And as I've told you before, I've got a little bit of claustrophobia, so I don't do elevators. We went and left for Antwerp. After finding a parking spot, we played Pokemon Go and we had a nice little walk all the way down to the big event of the day. It ended up being extra wing, which is like insanely scary because I hurt myself all the time. I bump into literally every object in the room. I cut myself a thousand times. I'm a tattoo artist. I tattoo my own fingers constantly. It's a tattoo artist thing. You'll know if you'll know. <laughs> We ended up in Antwerp x -throwing. And Antwerp x is a place where you can also um, do escape rooms and other things. They have an active projected like x game. So there's a beam around top and it projects a game and then you can throw your X at the game. But first of all, we got a little introduction. And the first two extras were all right, but still I wouldn't let anyone hand me an X at all. We proceeded playing some games with us four and yeah, just like I thought, I was the worst out of everybody. Everybody won a game, Chasey even won two games, I think, and I just... <laughs> got happy whenever I let the X, like when I threw the X and it stuck into the wall, that's when I was happy and satisfied, like, okay, I've done my job, I did a good thing. Well, at last two minutes, I changed my technique a little bit and then I kept hitting the X in the wall. Is it something I would do again? <laughs> We'll see. I'm not sure. Maybe. Apparently the axes are different in like every um, different axe throwing company. At other places like in Brussels you apparently have a set of axes and then you can choose uh, between the axes and choose which one you want to use. And then like it's heavier or bigger. So after we played the games, we decided to go get a drink. I also had an advertisement on my Facebook about Dunkin' Donuts. So I had to go to Dunkin' Donuts first to try out the new, is it a new Kit Kat donut? I have no clue if it's a new one, but I wanted that one. There's like three different types of donuts you could choose from. There is uh, two Kit Kat Crunchies and then a Kit Kat Extreme. And obviously I'm going for the extreme one. In the end, it didn't taste like Kit Kat at all. Like only the actual piece of Kit Kat tasted like Kit Kat. But all in all, it was a very, it was an all right donut. Nothing too special. Very heavy, very sugary. But I think that's just Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not very used to eating Dunkin' Donuts. I like just the Belgian donuts that uh, I used to have when I was a kid. Afterwards, we went to Beer Central, which is a well-known pub in Antwerp. You also have one in Ghent and probably in other cities as well. They have a range of over 300 beers. I had the nicest fruit beer. Um, it's a Waterloo Red Cherry beer. Did it taste like red cherry? A little bit, I guess. I feel like a lot of those fruit beers are becoming very similar, but I like, like, I like tasting them all. And this was one of the better ones I've had. Best one is still the Lupulus Fructus. Mm. If you're from Belgium, you have to try Lupulus. It's an insanely good beer. This is not sponsored. It's just one of my favorite ones. Then we went to Takumi, which is a noodle bar. Everybody knows Takumi. I'm not sure if it's an international thing. It's a very big thing in Belgium anyway. Because um, we have, I think, about eight... Takumis at the moment and they're all very different like some are like based on chicken or pork or like shoyu Since we were at the Mer in Antwerp, there are two Takumis really close to each other We went to the Tonkotsu one Because um, we had Tonkotsu ramen before and it's actually quite nice 
after placing our order, I ordered a pineapple drink, like a typical Asian drink. I'm not going to say which country because I literally don't know. And it has like this special way of opening it up. <laughs> and I told the waitress I knew how to do it, but I didn't know how to do it. And re-watching the footage, apparently the guy in the background was trying to tell me how to open the bottle. And I thought that was so freaking hilarious <laughs> that he tried to explain. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I wasn't noticing him. Like I was so focused on like our little friend group. And after a while, we did figure it out. Uh, it wasn't very intuitive <laughs> but extra wing wasn't either so all in all it was a very unintuitive day if that's a word um then we had our ramen bowl i had a black miso ramen bowl mm, absolutely love it look at the ramen bowl it's so freaking good absolutely love it we did end up with like an upset stomach for like over 24 hours, even when I'm editing this still, it's like almost 24 hours further and I still have an upset stomach. They had like this, this chopsticks and it said Supreme and it just looks so much like Supreme. I think it's the intention, but I thought it was extremely funny as well. I love the aesthetic of the, of the place. Like it feels very Asian-y, even though I've never been to Asia, which is still on my bucket list. It feels like you're really having an, a whole experience instead of just going to a restaurant and having a certain type of food. It feels like you're entering like a little piece of the world of the ramen world. We went to have another beer at Beer Central. Um, this time I chose Bushpesh, which is a fruit beer. I have an app, it's called Untapped. And you can check in all the beers you've had. You can give them a score, you can add a picture, you can tag friends in there. I really like the app. It's very useful if you're into beer, not sponsored once again. And after that, we head home. We had another 20 minute walk to the car. Um, I ended up playing a little bit of Pokemon Go again because we've been, <laughs> we had a time where we were really addicted to Pokemon Go and we ended up deleting it because it was taking such a big chunk of our time. And then recently there was a Charmander Community Day and that's the only thing I've ever wanted in Pokemon Go. I missed the first Charmander Community Day, so I really wanted to get one, a shiny Charmander. And I ended up downloading the game in the last 30 minutes of the Charmander Community Day. And now we're back to playing it, which means we are taking a couple of walks outside, maybe daily, super healthy but also not healthy to have another addiction again. I try to keep my games on my phone to a minimum um, to not waste too much time a day, but I really enjoy Pokemon Go. It brings people together. After that, we had a drive home with some very good music. And that was the day in Antwerp. I really hope you like this type of vlog. It kind of sucks that I lost the audio for everything. But make sure to follow my YouTube channel, um, to subscribe, to like, go follow me on other social media. I have two Instagram accounts. I have one for my Twitch stuff, my personal stuff. And then I have one for, uh, as my tattooing account. See you later.